So I wanted to show you that we've been using the KG140 Bluetooth volt amp shunt meter on a, a home solar system. And because it has Bluetooth, I thought it was pretty cool. I can get within about 30 feet of the device itself. So if you decide to buy this and install it in your golf cart or solar system, you're, what you're going to get is you're going to get the display, you're going to get the 16 feet of uh, data cable, you're going to get the battery measuring module, which is powered by the battery itself. So the red cable coming in this port, the top port here, is being powered um, by the battery pack here on a, uh, I have it on a bus, which is actually an inline fuse. Here's the negative bus coming from the battery. This cable goes up to the inverter. We have an on off switch to the battery here. So going back to the, this module, there's the power source. Here's the data cable going to the shunt. Now the shunt is labeled load negative and battery negative. So the load negative is going back up to the inverter system up here. So all of your loads, whether it's charge, your, I'm sorry, your discharging loads and your charging loads are gonna land where it says load negative. So just the negative cable right there. Now we have it going to the battery on this uh, bus here. This is a Blue Seas bus, and we just have it right there. I'll show you. So we just took a four post bus, and we landed on the stud there. Normally I wouldn't be touching this stuff because there's about 54 volts going in there, but just be safe. So going back to the display itself, it's pretty cool just to come in the garage and see. You can see with these icons here that if you have a blue arrow, the battery is, um, being discharged and it tells you in amps so i'm really because i have a sunny day going i don't have much battery going now with a red arrow it means now that the the pv uh and the um, charge controller are allowing to charge battery so red arrow is a charge so half an amp coming in my state of charge is 100 percent. so what i did was i fully charged the batteries then i went to the app and then i set the app to 100 percent and I calibrated um, all the settings with the SOC and the battery amp hours on the app. It was, you can do it here in the settings as well. So you can go into settings and you can churn, make, you know, convert your uh, language to English. You want to clear the current. So you start with zero and then you can go into your amp hours and set the total battery amp hours. Brightness is the display. This is if you're going to use a relay. Um, to set some kind of protections, low voltage protection, over voltage protection. I'm not using that right now. Uh, let's see. And then temperature calibration. There is a setting to go from Celsius to Fahrenheit, but I believe I did that on the app. So let's just get out of this, escape back, go back to the display. Anyway, it's a really cool device. I really do recommend it. I'm going to be, I do a lot of golf cart installs and I'm going to be uh, figuring a way to mount this for a um, golf, golf cart because the Bluetooth and the display is a very inexpensive option um, So yeah, let's zoom back out so you can see the system here. So we have a grow watt 12k 48 volt all-in-one inverter We have the AC line coming in uh, There's the um, from the utility coming in. We got a, a breaker box there nice protected device protecting all the AC in the PV in over here we have a uh, quad GFI we have a uh, 50 amp for an electric vehicle and this would be a very industrial old combiner box we have the solar coming in there and uh, there you'll see inside here there's a bunch of fuses but if I, if I do want to turn the PV off I can quickly turn it off here and do a shutdown mode um, so we're gonna go ahead and label we're gonna label all the devices in a sequence if you want to decide to shut the power down and then shut, turn the power back on. Just so if somebody needed to do that in an emergency, they could do it. So let me show you the batteries. I didn't wanna skimpy on that. So what you can see here, this is a big battery Rhino. And what we did was we encased it in some um, Lexan plastic just to give it, there goes the cooling fan. The Growatt's a very loud, loud cooling fan. And I watched a YouTube video. I think it was Average Joe, great guy. Super stoked that he gave a video on how to replace that fan. And you can see we got two of the uh, 48 volt big battery Rhinos. And you can see they're 100% SOC, which is cool. 
we're not even using any battery power at the moment and on the solar array there's about 7k of solar array up on the roof well i hope you like this video if you have any questions i'll do my best but the video specifically is about this very inexpensive uh Juan von uh shunt meter uh that i got on amazon super simple and has multiple applications take care have a great one see you next time